Thank you for joining us again at the Atlantic Hotel here in Bremen, Germany for our next match from the Predator Germany Open. And what a great match we are expecting as Jonas Suto is playing Delgado. And with me in the commentary booth we have Ralph Eckert. Yes, here we are back again. Thank you, Tim, for the little introduction. And yeah, we have two players from Spain both young, both talented, especially the young Soto player, right? Yeah. How do you pronounce his name exactly? Uh, Jonas Camino Soto, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the best Spanish speaker, so... Here we see Delgado, uh, Jose Alberto Delgado on the break, and he chooses not the side break, the players before. Uh, have chosen this time he was going more from the center of the table but with success with success he get one of those balls was it one of the two balls behind the one or was it some some accident ball i, I think <laughs> it was one of the two but i am not too <laughs> sure about it so we're gonna observe that later on on the next break so here he's obviously going for the safety which could have been a little bit better in my opinion uh, maybe play two rails and get to get closer to the two. Mm -hmm. So he leaves Jonas with a okay kick shot on the one. And, and Jonas Auto is the younger player. He's just 20 years, so very talented. And he wasn't even sure when I asked him when he actually started the game. He was mentioning something like four years. Yeah, I was really <laughs> young. Yeah. Oh, he's jumping at this. Oh, that's a short jump. And he's called it in the side pocket. Good jump, good call, but not rewarded. No, and he leaves a shot on the one for Delgado. Jose Alberto Delgado, and he's 28 years old, originally coming from Tenerife, Canary Islands. And he started at a young age of eight years. How about that? And uh, but now he moved to Salamanca and practices a lot with David Alcaide and Franc Francesco. So he's in good company there, right? Oh yeah, and <laughs> I expect to see a lot more from him in the future too. He's always been a good player, but now it, yeah, he's really working hard on his game with the right people around him. So mm -hmm. let's see what this match brings. So if you want to get good at this game, you basically have to try to go where are the good players and join them if possible. Otherwise you have to check them on YouTube, right? And see what's possible and learn as much as you can. Yeah, try to steal some knowledge. This looks a pretty comfortable layout here. Maybe there are some difficulties on the seven ball. If it's, I but guess he uh, could be shooting the seven ten combination, which would result in a win. Ah, I would hesitate to go for that. Oh, I, I do like it. But you need to have good position on the seven. So, let's see what he chooses to go for. Probably he's going to shoot a seven into uh, the upper corner, not where the ten ball is, but the uh, other side left himself a little long on this six ball but here he can almost shoot it natural well, he's to get the position back. I like yeah he's going low on the cue ball oh. <coughs> he tried my plan but it was a wrong plan he missed the shot yeah well <laughs> it's not always a wrong plan if you miss a shot but um, yeah, it was a little little weird angle. And Suto, you know him uh, pretty well. He showed lately a pretty good performance, right? Yeah, he uh, you told he played me a good U UK Open. He mm -hmm. played really well. He beat uh, Shane Van Boning. So that shows that this young talent uh, 
has a lot of big plans uh, for the future. You have to take him serious, and it looks like he, there is some room for the seven to pass the ten ball. Ooh. Well, it does not. Oh, he <laughs> got a little fortunate. Um. Can he get it with a short rail? Cut. Doubtful. Mm. Yeah, he's not able to go over the long rail. So he might try to hit it a little bit more solid to bring the seven ball maybe back near the foot rail. And the cue ball okay. on the other side of the table. Extension. But that can be dangerous because it's so near to the point of the pocket, the corner. He might still be able to uh, kick one rail. To but kick he's it in. But hmm? he's going to try and bend it because he cannot really hit the best point on the rail. Oh, he's going that so way. So it's a little, little low right. Wow. And he made it too short. I would have preferred the other way because there was no risk of a, of a foul, you know. But he had a good opportunity to make the seven also from this side, so... That's and correct. it's early in the match, so he tried to maybe play a little bit more aggressive to start off well. Mm -hmm. So, ball in hand for young Suto. Just natural roll, contacting. Long rail, everything fine here for our young Spanish player. Yeah, both players also uh, successful in their youth careers. Um, both won medals in the European Championships youth, played mm -hmm. World Junior Championships. Uh, Jonas Suto also World Junior Champion, former. Okay. So, always been good players and never stopped playing and still trying to reach the stars. All right. And why not starting with that tournament? Because if some maybe newcomer are going to win that tournament, he made himself a big name right after that because that's a huge tournament here. Yeah, so this could be a, a good start for them both to snap off this tournament. So let's check his break another time here. He's going from near the side, which is more traditionally in 10 ball. 7 and 8 are the two balls behind the one with the biggest chance to go in the side pocket. 7 and 8 are both short, very short. Oh. But he get uh, the 10 ball on yeah, the break. He made a 10 on the break, but it doesn't count though. So it will be spotted. Oh, and he has to continue wherever the cue ball is. So made a ball on the break, but a little lucky 10 ball. So and. Would you push or would you go for this kick safety? He's going for I it. I think I would go for the kick safety because it's so close to the rails, so you can kick really precise. Yeah, pretty good chance to gonna make that happen. And a good shot. Nice. Good speed also. No easy kick shot on the top long rail. So, quite the challenge. But oh. the challenge does have a reward if he makes it mm -hmm. because the two is nearby. Point to pocket the ball is it's pretty big when it's close to the pocket. Already time. Oh, he missed that close. So foul from Delgado, ball in hand for Suto. Let's check the table. Any difficulties here? Not a lot of them. Maybe the six to the seven. If you get the wrong angle on the six. Mm. Um, but actually, I think he should be fine. Play the one and the two in the side pocket. And then 
roll the three and then shoot the four in the down right corner. So the main task here is if there's no certain um, problem you have to take care of, then it's about to keep yourself in a concentrated mood, going step by step, ball by ball, position by position, working yourself through without bringing, creating by yourself some difficulties. Yeah, so I like I like this also. He's got a big area to choose to shoot it in the corner or the side. Look how how much behind he grips he grabs his cue at the end, right? Right yeah. on the bat. So it needs to be a little straight on this five ball so he can yeah get himself perfect on that six. He already checked the angle he needed to go easily to the seven. You can imagine if he gets the other angle how much more difficult and complicated the yeah. game it could be. And did he get enough angle? It looks like, yeah, he, he got a little angle. little angle you always like to get like a 10 degree angle or maybe 15 degree angle this gives you the biggest room where you can maneuver the cue ball and it's enough angle to go from one table side to another he checks almost every angle so pretty good pretty yeah, disciplinated he, here. Well, he has a good r routine too and what mm. I like is he has this disciplinary, disciplinary routine but he's also not slow so he still moves a little fast and mm -hmm. yeah, makes it nice to watch in my opinion. Yeah. little slow here gives him a little bit more difficulty on the 10 ball but he is That's still in a comfortable position right he's touching the 50 yard line he should be okay <laughs> nice cue ball is safe and the score is two to nothing for the young Suto. In the background, Spanish in encounter. the background, we see the young uh, Finnish player, right? Riku Rompanen. Like yes, 15 years old and already plays on a world-class level. It's frightening. Yeah, <laughs> this is a good, very good. He beat uh, in Vegas. He beat some really good players. I think he beat Skylar Woodward. Mm. So, or he was close. It was a really exciting match. So is a good name to watch for the future. So let's see, he stays with this break, even though the two balls, he couldn't get them close to the side pocket. So if he continues with this kind of break, he has to stay and has to hope for any other ball to go in. And there are only low percentage balls left. And the three and the seven behind the one. Still short, still short, and he break, broke already pretty hard. Normally yeah. you have to break harder to get them yeah. higher or closer to the yeah, side Yeah, so that's, that's why if you compare it to the first match we've mm -hmm. seen, I like to break from the side in this format. Mm -hmm. So you might nice can go format. for the combination here. Nice. And there's a nice layout on the table too. Yeah, there's from not there. Not so many problems. Pretty nice to go with the 
low left stun to go over to the three ball, four ball. He likes to get something more straight on the three, or almost straight, mm. like that. He can create an angle yeah. anyway if it's that close to the pocket. And the seven, eight, nine, ten is all at the same, same little area on the table, so mm -hmm. there's not much traveling to do on this layout. That's right. And this is maybe a good, good warm-up game for Dogado too to get himself into the match. To get comfortable, right? And normally you don't have much time in a short race like that to get comfortable. You have to be comfortable, right? in the moment you come to the table. Yeah, he had that six ball in the first game, which he hung. So he is looking for some confidence He's going to for gain a draw. In this game. It's always the case in this kind of situation. Follow or draw. Three rails or zigzag. Here it is. Good speed. Nice angle. So he, he's just 28 and already got a 20-year experience. How about that? <laughs> so looking to shoot the 8 in the side pocket just because he got a little straight on the 7. Well, then he, he has he to roll the cue ball and then he m might be very close to the, s uh, to the rail. So then the, the line has to be perfect, right? He cannot maneuver much. But, but I think he did a good job there. Yeah. Maybe I just try to create up. some difficulty, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can jack up to play the stop shot or just follow this and uh, it should be fine. All right. Two more balls and he can keep the set tight. Two, to, Two one. to one. Your favorite in that game? Oh man! <laughs> Come Why do on, you do this to me? Uh, go on. Uh, you missed your opportunity to ask me. So. I th <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I would say, I would say Suto because he's still young and yeah, doesn't really have a bunch of scars. Uh huh. So compared to Dogado, he's been playing for a longer time, so he yeah also experienced. Yeah. More setbacks. Experience is not always an uh, advantage, you know, because you experienced also all the bad things that can happen. So as a young player, when you go down for a shot, you see what you have to do, what's possible. But uh, experienced player also see what anything what can go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's sure. Yeah. <laughs> So a little bit more angle on the break here for him. Yeah, and he gets the four ball a little bit closer to the side. But they are mm. crushing the break, but there's not really guaranteed balls. So. Mm -hmm. so it might be, you're right, it might be smarter to break from the side here. But there's a little interesting situation here we have uh, on the one ball, tied up with the four, and he's trying to stick him behind the four. But can he get that one ball out? Yeah. There's a double kiss risk. Oh, that's oh. good. Oh, doesn't want to make the three. Okay. That's good. He's good. Probably a jump shot now. Yeah, Who's the king of jump shots recently? Do you what? What's your favorite jump shot player? Favorite Most jump accurate. shot player? Uh, I think Fedor Gors is a really good jump shot player. Mm -hmm. um, but. Also, Damianos Kialurakis from uh, Greece. Is that? Okay. They call him the jump master. Oh, yeah. But he is. Uh, he showed me a bunch of stuff how to jump well. I'm not sure if this was the side he actually wanted to hit. But I was thinking about shooting it to the other corner. Yeah. And then if you miss, the cue ball stays close to the 7, mm -hmm. 5, 10, 9. Um, Still a big task. If he rolls that in, he just get yeah. a bank shot opportunity. He might choose to play safe, put the one in between the four and the six, and the cue ball on the other side. Yeah, the cue ball towards the six ball. Because 
he's also yeah the jacking up uh, right. over the ten ball Extension. makes it extremely difficult to get on the two. Yeah. Nice view on those predator balls. Oh, nice roll in. So he made one. Predator Arcos two balls, to be more precise. Yeah. Uh, is he looking for that 4 6? Little three cushion shot. That's good it's speed. It's a great shot. Yeah. Really good cue ball. Nice speed, too. And it looks like a trap for me. I'm not sure if he can go in between the 5 and the 7. Yeah, that's... I mean, even though just the short rail, yeah, one rail just the short might rail, be interesting yeah. uh, alternative here. It's difficult, but might be the only way. Yeah. Mm. Not sure if he could get in between those and still hit the two. So now so with ball in hand, it looks very promising for Suoto to get on the hill maybe with that game. So while he's cruising here, I can mention our sponsors in this match also. Main sponsor, Predator Group, Q Sports International, Kamui Brand, also one of my favorite and uh, my personal sponsors, AlphaCoin Cryptocurrency, you should check that out, especially made for billiard players, Relife, Hansestadt Bremen Innovations, and Teleo Logistics. That might be a little task, maybe between the gap of 7 and 10, no, below that. Pretty much straight, so he has to make a pure draw shot, maybe three diamonds back. One, two, three. And this can either way a two rail shot or just a follow one rail. Personal preference. Yeah, I like to go one rail here. I like it also, but I guess most players still go for two rails, don't they? I'm always thinking about just having the guaranteed right angle on the uh, eight ball. Yeah, that's right. In this case, if you overhit it or underhit, you have a tough eight ball. It's my preference as well to go one right only, but personal choice. And let's see here, not much of an angle also. And here he's showing us it's very friendly for commentators like us, right? He already yeah. shows us the positioning where he likes to get the cue ball. For the 10 in the side. Yeah, this to go. A little bit further than he wanted to. Nobody likes the cue ball frozen to the rail, right? But it's an important game. 3-1 or 2-2 two, two is mm -hmm. important. Okay. Didn't show any weakness here. Not really. He looks pretty comfortable too. I haven't really seen him do strange things. Played a really good three rails safety shot. He almost played uh, with the age of 20 like a conservative player, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, he looks he looks calm too, and he always really. Yeah, he, he's a really emotional player too, like he shows, but he also shows a lot of heart. So he okay. fights really hard, and yeah. So he shows emotion. So that there might be the chance also from the other player, right, whoever he plays, to bring him into difficulties so that he gets but for into us, this emotional part. For us, the emotions are nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to watch. Yeah. So he changed. Look oh. at that. Look at that. So he changed to the side and it did work. But the cue ball was just yeah, not, Too not good enough. Too much top spin on there. Yeah. I mean, I... In the beginning, I don't try to shoot or break as hard as I can to give myself a little bit more room left to, to change in accordance to the break. And because if I use not 100% power, but 70 or 80%, it, I got more control for the cue ball, yeah. right? Yeah, this format also makes people want to do a little bit more, and that also makes yeah, it's harder to control that cue ball. How do you like it in general to go back to hand racking with a, a traditional rack rather than going for tapped balls or magic ball racks? What's your opinion on that? Well, I do think the more skilled breakers and also like we've seen in the last match, people that see how the balls react and they change. I think this is a skill and I, I yeah, I do actually appreciate when I see players, players mm -hmm. have this skill mm -hmm. instead of having people with a magic rack and mm -hmm. play a stop shot and they make three balls. Mm. Oh, I just this missed that combination. This here. was unexpected. Yeah. I actually took it for granted. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that's a nice point you made here with a break. I like that. It might put me back into action because <laughs> normally it was one of my... Because I put so many hours into it back then when we didn't have a magic ball rack. So many hours to put in to rack by yourself, hand racking, checking. How is the position of each ball? Where is the gap? Where is don't? Uh, what does this gap make to the rack? What does this gap help for? So... All right. So interesting jump shot by Suto. Try to separate the balls, maybe get behind the eight, but leaves a really tough shot to get back on the five ball too. Interesting shot here sometimes is just to cut it on the right side, either way to make it in the other corner or to leave it near the uh, foot rail and bring the cue ball back down there. On the other side, you see Earl Strickland just knock it in directly and draw the cue ball back in the perfect position for the five. Yeah, but now, <laughs> now you're talking about a different kind of person, <laughs> different style. It's going for the cut. Yeah, the ba it was in a little awkward spot, the four mm -hmm. ball. Um, I think he still did a good job. I don't think the four ball goes. Mm -hmm. But it's an easy resave too. If he can kick and stick the cue ball there and push the four ball up the table, mm -hmm. he, have a, he has a good chance to get behind the ten ball. And don't need to create a stop shot there because he can let it roll. Yeah, with the new cloth it does kind of still stick. Mm -hmm. So... And he got behind the 10. This is a great shot. Good safety. Yeah. Normally, uh, we don't see very often a safety battle going on already on the four ball. Normally, it's in the beginning on the one or two. Now, it's even more difficult because there are not so many balls where you can hide a cue ball. Yeah, so now we see real skill coming up. Mm. Nice attempt, not much rewarded, but it's funny, isn't it, the angle? It's still a little weird, like, are you going to run into the nine, or what, what are you playing? Like it's and if he plays it in the corner, the cue ball might scratch in the side. No, but he's, he's going to cut it in the side. Yeah, and but like I said, like mm -hmm. he was trying to hit, oh no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not okay. <I> <laughs> well, it's, it's still no good, but I 
thought he was going to scratch in between the 10 and the yeah, 6. That would yeah. be brutal. Um, yeah, he tried to hit that line. Was a little funky four ball, and now kicks two rails and wow! Oh. Did he call? It? Did he? Oh man! I'm That's sure unlucky. he called a pocket, right? Yeah. Just for security reasons, you do that. But then he was so accurate. Wow! And it's quite unlucky too that he bumps the the point of the side pocket mm -hmm. because he also had the double chance to get behind the six and the ten to resave. So. Uh, Another opportunity for Delgado. Oh. Yeah, he lost the cue ball there. He uh, he cut it too much. Well, but does hard. it go to the side? It's hard to maneuver, uh, keep control of the cue ball when the object ball is that close to the pocket. But he's comfortable now. That's also not a, not a perfect angle, especially if you're so close to the side. Was rail. he looking at playing rail first? Why not? He is. Yeah. This That's is a good long. recovery shot. Yeah. So. He's keeping the set close, 3-2. Stays on the table with his break, winner break format. Jose Alberto Delgado, originally from Tenerife, Canary Islands, and now in the city of Salamanca, practicing with David Alcaide and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. And here on the other hand, a young talent, Suuto. What was his first name again? Jonas. Jonas Suuto. So, decided to break from the side, making the one, so good break. And look at this for a result. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. So, this is pure momentum going on. Wow, easy task. <laughs> he, he looked at Joe and was like, yeah, well, <laughs> I'll take it. Well, they're good friends, right? They yeah. travel together to different tournaments. So... Sometimes strange when you have to play pretty seriously. You're a good friend of yours. First match too. <laughs> yeah. Imagine we travel together to Spain and then the first match we have to play each other, right? Okay, let's check out his break again. Worked pretty well. And let's see if the 10 ball, if there is some, some consistency. Yeah, it breaking from the side, is it working? It looks like he's going a little bit more to the inside. Look at the 10 ball. There is some consistency for the 10 ball to go in this direction. Oh. And the one ball in the corner, so. So he, he does have the 2-9-3 combination, <coughs> but it can get a little strange if the 9 ball comes off the rail a little bit. So you cannot make, like, don't make, Not make it too hard Not guaranteed to get a nice yourself. shot after that. Yeah. If you play it soft, it might <coughs> be there's okay. There's an easy safety, but it's not a, not a ball in hand safety. I mean, if you just cut it, leave it 
near the side right where it is the two ball and bring the cue ball on the other side maybe behind eight well on the other side he was yeah. down three to one that's right so three he has three. a chance on hill okay. hill i would go mm -hmm. he will regret it later if he does not he's going for the safety oh i like the combo behind eight he it did this good. looks good good speed so a little trap here for Shuto maybe the 10 ball he, go, he won't shoot it softly that's for sure no. right <coughs> okay it was so close and worked out good for him maybe a 2-5 combination in the side and there is the two even if of the five of the ten, maybe. Yes. Even if you make the, but you have to call this or that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, that's all. But decision. why not make both? <laughs> You're the trick shot master. You can. Come make on, both. you can't. If yeah. you call both, then you have to make both. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But. So he called the five. Oh, a little. And left out the attempt. A little on the awkward. Ball shape on the two ball mm -hmm. is he able to call the ten ball maybe and then play safe with the two well he can play a safety here but is he calling the ten yes called the that's ten. a great shot it is wow so I mean the reason for that was that it was so hard to get a good position on the three ball anyway, so why not going for it? Yeah. Yeah, and you seen the two ball was gonna go towards the short rail, so it was always a backup plan. Mm -hmm. So he was three to one down and he snaps it off four to three, first set. Nice. Delgado leads with the first set on his account. While Suoto Took a timeout. <coughs> you got also sponsors, Jose Alberto Delgado, like like a ink company, Ecotiza in company as a main sponsor and Diaz Billiards and of course Predator. So he's shooting with Predator cues. And waiting for Suoto to return and here he is. <coughs> and Suoto breaks the new set because they alternate, right? When yeah. one player starts the first set, the other player has the opportunity to start the second grade. Yeah, that's correct. That's they they wanna avoid it that someone runs out a whole match, right? Exactly. <laughs> um, it wouldn't be fair if you <laughs> never get the opportunity to do something. It rarely happens, but it's possible on this ca caliber of players that someone runs out a set, right? And then at least you want to get opportunity to run out another set by yourself. Yeah. Well, at least you always have one break. And oh, he didn't like that tempo. He <laughs> didn't like it's that. It's an inter interesting push out. Yeah. Just to make sure there's no early combinations because the six, seven, and nine are together. So they were gonna hunt again on the tempo. And Delgado, he said no combos this time. Mm-hmm. He could play the, the grandma safety, the opposite sides one. <laughs> <laughs> but he called the five ball, so is he playing the carom? Nice, nice cue though, I see. Oh, he played oh. the direct combination shot and trying to get the cue ball behind. And this is a great shot, really good cue ball. I think he wasn't even trying to, he called the five ball just in mm. case he hit mm. it bad. Mm. But 
He did not. Here are his sponsors, also DS Billiards and Predator Qs and his area, Santa and Loria. So it's nice to get some support from your home area, right? Yeah, I still remember when he won the World Junior Championships a couple of years ago, and then he came back home at the airport with the big trophy, uh -huh. and all his families and friends were there, and there was like camera from TV, and it was really cool to see. Nice. So wrong angle on the two, but still... He can hold it over there, okay. The interesting part comes when he got a, what kind of angle he's going to get on the five ball. And the offensive way, even if you got ball in hand on the five and you get your favorite angle, would you do the, uh, some offensive shot here? I'm not sure. I don't really <laughs> like it that much. If you look at the 697, there's not really a nice way to go into these balls. Uh. What would be great if he gets an angle on this 4, but he does not. Because with the 4 going in there, with the 5 in front of the pocket, would be a good chance. So the alternative is, beside of an offensive shot, to g roll the cue ball near the 6 ball or that you get a full hit on the six, and from there you can play a nice safety. But he called the bank shot on the five ball. He called a bank? Wow. Yeah, so. so... Then he's going into it. No other reason to call a bank then. Well, he was looking to go into it, but I'm scared he's going to hit the rail and then go in run into the seven and don't even get close. Bank shot, the six, so. offensive try, not rewarded. I'm not and sure if there's enough room to even hit the six. I tell you what, if there's not enough room to hit the six, you can you can play the nine ball on its right side softly, and then even with ball in hand, he can't reach the six. Or you remove the seven, just take the seven out. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's a good hit. Looks like a legal hit. But Button. he left a good chance. He was mm. disappointed. Did you see that? Mm. The little emotions are showing. So Delgado is now in control of that game. First game in our second set. this 10 ball to go one nothing in the second set. They're playing two sets, race to four, with a deciding shootout when it ties 1-1. One, one. I can't wait to get the first shootout on the main table and the main arena. Yeah, that would be... Uh, that's always exciting. The shootout is just, I have seen shootouts where both players, they struggled so bad and I've seen shootouts where they made like 10 in a row. 
It's a really interesting concept and a lot of pressure too, so it's really nice to watch. Oh yeah, we have also on the other table some really nice matches. We have uh, Riku Rompan in Spain, Chan Salim Giazar from Germany, both really good players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he made the one ball on the side, but couldn't get position on the two ball. Yeah, I like the push out to maybe push the eight and the five together at the short rail. Mm -hmm. To leave some insurance. Yeah, because now if you play the push out and the other guy plays a good return safety, mm -hmm. you're That's now suddenly not favored anymore to win this game. This normally is an easy kick from the short rail, sending the two ball down to uh, the foot rail while keeping the cue ball on the head rail but he's showing us that he's trying to bring the cue ball let's see yeah he called the two in the side just in case and get the cue ball in the top left corner close to the four and it oh, he hit that a little thick yeah. yeah he's struggling did he tie up the five ball I guess so no it's open here we see it, five ball goals, so he got to survive this long, long pot on the two ball. Let's see that. And he's Tough not shot. scared. He's trying to kill this, kill the cue ball there. Nice, nice. Nice Great speed. Shot. Yeah, good control. So tough shot to hold the cue ball there. Now you can go up and down the table with the cue ball, near back near the center of the table. Yeah, and then next the four to go two rails to the five ball. That might be the key shot. Okay. To come from the four to the five. Good angle on the four. Now he goes two times the, sh the long rail, zigzag. And hopefully not behind the eight. <laughs> yeah, it has to be real precise. Probably around the second diamond, I would guess. Second diamond where Delgado's body is at right now. Oh, oh he decided to do something different. No, no zigzag. He want to make sure that he got a sight and a shot on the five, even though it's more difficult from there. Yeah, now he needs a good position shot on this five ball. center of the table maybe a little bit oh he overcut that ball a little bit and the cue ball went loose but perfect perfect that was actually what he planned come on <laughs> well he looked a little bit shocked that's <laughs> why i yeah. guess he uh, overcut it well there are not so many things that ca can go wrong no. if you make the five needs a lot of bad luck just to frozen up to the six and somehow okay. I would have chosen the other angle you know on the long rail the right long rail because then you can smoothly maneuver the cue ball down there here it's more difficult yeah this is a, a big big swing a big big follow shot yeah David might tell him that as soon as he comes back okay. to Salamanca. <laughs> Extension. Well, he can still go with inside. I'm not sure if he can hold that cue ball on the long rail. Uh, you see how dangerous it could have been when yeah. you tried to maneuver. He, g he got perfect. Yeah. Great shot on the seven. But mm. it was still a little... Yeah. This could go wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Ten ball for the same pocket. And, and a comfortable two games lead. He is looking comfortable. He got some nice shots from uh, Jonas and from there. He doesn't really miss a bunch of shots. So looks like he's uh, cruising. He's playing a good match here. And on the other side, Suoto plays, doesn't play a bad, sh a bad match here. He's playing also great, I think. Just a few bad rolls. Here you see the new Predator Aero Rack Triangle. And the lights below the table, you can choose uh, different colors to work with. So, so it's gonna fit your living room there you in see case you wanna have that table. In your house, <laughs> yeah, you can you can change it to every every color. Um, what I was gonna say is, he went to the inside on the uh, yeah, from the side break. He mm -hmm. went a little bit to the inside, and now the one ball is flying in every break almost. Okay, so, so he really makes found kind of a cut break. Yeah, but he mm -hmm. he found this spot too, and it makes a temple move too. So that's did he find a recipe? <laughs> The yeah. winning recipe, maybe, but it it w need to work also with some co cooperation with the referee, right? Because not uh, they don't have the consistency, you know. Sometimes the rack is a little bit more this way, a little bit more that way, right? They cannot. It's impossible to rack always hundred percent the same. Yeah. Which is good. Okay, so he decided to use the ten ball as a big pocket, and I would say getting on the five ball is the biggest challenge now because he got pretty straight on the four. Need to be a lot of stun or monster draw. <laughs> yeah. Might choose to shoot the five in the side pocket and force follow two rails. Okay. If he can. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what he's. I think that's what he is looking at. It's always helpful when you put your fingers where you like to get, not only for the commentators, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. also for yourself to give your inner mind also a picture where you like to go. Otherwise, sometimes you have in your mind everything can happen, but not there, and then <laughs> you get the cue ball exactly there. Ooh. You see, not much angle was available here and in actual it turned out g well i'm not sure oh, he might have been playing this though yeah so he can still go cut the five in with mm. low right and then go long rail short rail and shoot the six in the side pocket interesting strategy to point always the wrong position spot to okay. confuse the commentators Extension. and your opponent well, it looks <laughs> way more impressive if, if yes. he does this <laughs> Okay, so now well, the follow he can pass the side pocket and get a comfortable position on the seven. Not an easy shot. But he's a player of of that kind of a level that he is the favorite to do that shot. Okay, so he used a little inside on that. Uh -huh. To That's come closer shot. to the seven. <coughs> so Suoto is not looking too happy in his chair. Yeah, well he didn't really, last couple of games there's not much he did, he could do. He kicked that one ball and yeah. left a long shot and Delgado ran out and 
he's on his way to having a break and run and the momentum is not at Suto's side at this no. moment. Close. So needs one more good shot. Nice and smooth. Not so much smooth here. <laughs> it was a little short on the swing. Still able to cut this. New cloth, new bigger pockets. Great okay. Job. Good tempo. Three nothing on the hill in the second set. Yeah, and he doesn't really look like he's struggling anymore. In the beginning of the match, we've seen a little struggle from him, but then when Suto gave him a couple of chances, he really got loose. And yeah, now we're here. <laughs> Any interesting outcomes on the other matches? Um, yeah, there's a couple interesting players. Uh, Juan Carlos Exposito from Spain is also playing. He's up one set. Um, we got Mustafa Alnar from Cyprus. Uh -huh. He's also playing against Juan Carlos Waterhouse, which I don't know. And and then we have Chan Salim against Giku Rompanen. It's 1-0 in sets for Chan Salim. Okay. So, maybe the last call for Suoto to turn around that match. Yeah. It can happen. If he runs out, maybe has a good break. Momentum changes and still possible from here. I guess he can roll that and, I mean, with a little power, roll that. <laughs> this is a really good shot. Nice position. Really nice line. A little unfortunate to be so yeah, blocked Chinese by the six. Chinese hoop yeah. by the six, but he might be able to still play forward and shoot the three ball in the top corner. This. Yeah, I guess it's the most comfortable. Oh, that's a nice camera view. Look at this. So close. Oh, he played the stun to shoot the three in the side. That's even better. It's a really good cue ball. So he's back in, back in position now. Let's see if the momentum stays also or changes the side to go his way. I was thinking about maybe holding the cue ball and not using the short rail. And yeah. yeah, afterwards I can always say, you see, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't really want to run into the seven ball. So a little bit more work than he should have had. Oh, he's even he playing a safety. Yeah. Trying to at least. Yeah, with his back against the wall, huh? Mm. So, did he push the five and the six together? Does the five still go? That's what I wonder. Not sure. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks goes. like it still it goes. goes. It's a little tougher now. Extension. The bank is an option, and then if you miss it on the short, on the short side, it goes back up. Mm -hmm. It always leaves a really tough shot. No. No bank, just safety. Try to get behind the five and the six, but mm -hmm. too short. Too short. Nice. And 
and I think he also hit that a little bit too too thick. Mm -hmm. Because if you, you look don't, at the four, you don't want a q four ball going yeah. with the cue ball down the table. Extension. Let's see what he does here. Oh. From the top camera view, it looked already dangerous to go for that, but from the top angle, uh, camera view, you could have played it in the side, but from this angle, it doesn't look like that, that you could have played it in the side. So. Safety behind the seven, maybe? No. Yeah, second try oh. to get behind the five and the six. But it slides a lot. And a second chance for Suto. Has to start with a long shot, though. Very long. And he has been sitting on his chair for a while and not really making a bunch of balls. Struggling a little bit, so. Okay, and with the view we had earlier, it looked like he could he can make, make the that. five, maybe yeah. with a lot of right spin. Mm -hmm. and question is if he can keep controlling the six ball with it. He can. Nice. So he stays in the set. Good cue ball control. Little unfortunate to be straight, but shouldn't be a big problem. Close enough to the pocket that he can create a little angle. Nice. on his way to stay alive in this set. Absolutely, he's in a survival mode here, <laughs> trying to survive. Yeah, it's a, it's a long way, but on the other side, if he can gain some momentum, maybe have a nice break. Okay, let's check his break. Full break. So I guess it was not. He, um, did, he did cut the one ball a little bit too much. So, not enough impact to have a chance on another ball. So, you mean he, he tried to copy Delgado's break because he was successful before? Yes, but Delgado was hitting it a little bit more thick. Mm. And you can see, yeah, the one ball got too low, so it was too much cutting on the one. So I think he can see a little edge on the one. And with a lot so of left side spin. Yeah, he might be able to, to come back behind the four. Mm. And if he cannot... Another option is to maybe okay. bank the two ball towards the seven, maybe Extension. to put those two together. Mm -hmm. 
And then leave the cue ball on the short rail on the right. Mm -hmm. If he can get there. Oh, he's, he's removing the 10 ball. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> yeah, but he did this before. He don't trust the whole combo stuff. Um, so the one doesn't go in the top left corner, otherwise he would not play this push out. But he has a stop shot. Maybe if he can kiss the seven with the one, get the one out of the way. So he has to elevate the cue. Yeah, he called it in the top right corner in case it does go off the seven. Mm -hmm. And he stops the cue ball and draws back maybe a little bit. Oh. He left a shot, a thin shot. So it was a tough position after the break. And a new chance for Shuto. Far, but he can still still go for it. She will, will contact the long rail, the upper and the lower one, for coming into position. Ten. Oh. Yeah, he put left spin on that, and it bent it on him. Yeah. So Not necessary to put that amount of spin on it. Yeah. Just stop spin would be enough, maybe mm -hmm. just a little bit of left. Yeah. So this looks like he has a little angle. To go naturally up and down. Or maybe he play. Okay. Yeah. Maybe he will just leave himself around the center pocket. That's right. From that point of view, it looks makes sense to leave it there. This part, this view shows it a little bit more difficult, right? Yeah. Ten. Oh, lots I like this. Lots of right side spin to go on the other side. It's a little bounce and. This is a really good recovery too. It's good, yeah. I mean, nice normally angle. you would have think of left side spin and play it softly. Yeah, but the tables, they play pretty fast, so all the soft holding the ball stuff, they don't really play this a lot at the moment. And with the other shot, he could let the stroke out and mm -hmm. hit the ball a little f nice and firm, so. And this looks... Uh, pretty easy actually from here all the balls are together so he has multiple options of playing shape and five more balls to win his first match here the Spanish encounter Is it hard enough? Another thin cut, you remember? He had a thin cut on the 10 lately too. Yeah, and now... It's even more thin now. Yeah, and it's tough to get the right shape too, unless he plays with a lot of right spin, <laughs> which is also possible, but really difficult. I would put a lot of right side spin in into it. Here we wow. go. Wow, and look at the cue ball. Shot, yeah, that's Jonas. It. He oh. believed it. Already gave up. 
So, so Delgado wins the match two to nothing in sets. And uh, don't go anywhere. It's just a short break now until five. Well, it's not that short of a break. So we're going to well, have a break or three o'clock but we're gonna be back at five o'clock with more matches also on seven o'clock and nine o'clock so stay tuned and we're looking forward to welcome you back soon